Hello! In this video I want to give you five tips for woodland photography. Some you may know already, others may be a new idea to you. So do watch on. Tip number one, try not to get the sky in. As you can see there's a lot of it here because there's actually a road there, so there's a bit of a clearing in the wood. But that's not what I'm going to be shooting here because obviously I'm not pointing at the road and I've got a big lens on. I'll come to that in a tip in a minute. But the reason you don't want the, the sky is because when the canopy has got bits of light coming through it, or indeed a great deal of it here, it can be very difficult to control the movement of somebody's eye, the focus of somebody's attention, because the eye is always drawn to the bright things in an image. And because you have what is generally an inherently dark area, being a woodland where the light doesn't always come in so much, obviously at this time of year a little more because there's no leaf cover, but at other times of the year those little pin pricks of light can be a real distraction and just take the eye. If they're not there you don't have to control them in post, they're not creating the problem. Let's move on to tip number two. One of the things that people struggle with in woodland is keeping somebody's uh, focus on something because woodland is inherently very, very messy. So break through the mess, get to the detail of what it is you're trying to shoot. And I have a very nice detailed shot here. The detail itself, as you can see, is just a tree trunk with some ivy growing up it. And it's a really simple image that has some very big impact. <laughs> Tip number three, look down. There's so much going on beneath your feet that if you don't, you're missing probably 90% of the good shots that you can get. Yes, I know, yeah. you can have so many pictures of leaves and forest floors and such, but they're not all the same. In fact, every single one of them is pretty unique, let's face it. And what's wrong with you getting your own great woodland floor shots? So the shot that I've got lined up here kind of mingles in with tip number two because it's looking for detail, but it's also looking for colour contrasts and shapes and such, and it's down on the floor. Let me show you it. It's a simple little shot, but it's very, very effective. And all I needed to do to find it was look down. Two second timer. I've just walked down this path from another set of paths in this woodland that I don't remember using before. But I do know a great deal of the rest of the woodland. And the tip is get to know your woodland. And in amongst that, there's another tip which I'll come to in a moment. But by getting to know the space, by getting to appreciate where the good trees are, where the clearings are, where the light comes in at different times of the year, where the fog collects, all of these kind of things. You need to come here often to really appreciate the wood because otherwise, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with coming to the woods and spending hours and hours here, but if you're coming out to get a photograph, knowing where that photograph might be is really important. And that exploratory side of things leads me into point or tip 4.5 if you like a bonus tip and again it's something you may well know uh, it's something I know it's something I bang on about a lot in videos and it's something that I forget to do myself sometimes and it's uh, it's a simple one it's look behind you now if I wasn't looking behind me having walked down this path from an up and area up there I wouldn't have seen this fallen tree down here. Now, I've got to say at the moment, I don't know <coughs> whether or not I can make something of that as a photograph. I'm going to try in a minute. But if I'd just walked blindly in this direction, never turning round, I wouldn't have seen that possible photo opportunity. And that's what this is all about. It's finding photo opportunities. So if I can make something of that tree, You'll see it in a second. Shape 
and form. Tip number five. The two trees that I'm pointing the camera at are nothing special in themselves. But what they have is what everything else around them doesn't have, and that's shape and form. They are a juxtaposition to the other trees around them, because pretty much everything else here is uh, pretty much straight up and down. If I kind of move around here, you'll see that I'm pretty much surrounded by mostly kind of pine and spruce trees. So these two provide a degree of interest um, that simply isn't there. And I am pretty, pretty much square onto the gap between them. And when I show you the image, you'll probably turn around and say, but in tip one, you said, keep the sky out. And you're right, I did. But <clears throat> I think when you look at this image, you'll see that these aren't rules. These are guidelines because that image works. It works because actually there's a good deal of balance between the top left and the top right. There's, well, oh, sorry. Look at the image yourself. Tell me what you think of it. Shape and form. Tip number five. I hope that these tips have been useful to you. Check out some of my other tip videos and my vlogs. If you're interested in ICM, there's five tips for ICM photography just there. Go ahead and look at that. And look at some of my other woodland videos as well. There'll uh, be one appearing on screen in a minute. Please click the like button, click the subscribe button. All of that stuff, it's really important for uh, my well-being, my mental well-being. And uh, leave some comments down below um, let me know if you've got any tips that I might uh, like to employ myself. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon.